Imagine putting everything you have into a dream only to realize it's more challenging than you ever expected. But somehow you can't let it go. You can't. That's been my journey in game development with Whispers of the Tarnished City. I got my first VR headset, the MetaQuest 2, in December 2022. One of the first games that I ever played on the MetaQuest 2 was Half-Life Alex, connecting it to my PC. And it was mind-blowing. It was so immersive, so well designed that it lit a spark in me. I remember thinking vividly this. I want to create something that people can get lost into, a world like Half-Life. So in January of 2023, I started working on my own game. I named the project Island of Reminence. I was so excited, I could see the world I wanted to build so clearly. It wasn't just about creating a game, it was about creating an experience. Something people could dive into and explore. But here's the thing, I'm a game designer, I'm not a developer. I come from a background of creating systems and designing experiences, not coding them. A little bit of coding, not, not a lot. Yet I was determined. I thought, how hard can it be? Well, turns out it can be very hard, very, very hard. Around the time I got a job at Zynga as a game system designer, I was thrilled. I was working on a game professionally during the day and during the night on my setup, I was building my own project. It was intense, but it was motivating. Every spare minute, I either was sketching ideas or co trying to code something new. Yet, balancing a full-time job with building your own game on the side is tough, very tough. And the more I learned, the more I realized how much little I know and how much I do not know at all. A few months before IGDC, I made a bold decision that I will not continue at Zynga and fully focus on Island of Reminence. I presented a Polish prototype at IGDC or India GDC, something I could be proud of and people at IGDC loved it. I remember watching them play the game, interact with all the different mechanics hearing feedback and I felt like maybe I might be onto something and during IGDC for a while I felt like I was finally moving forward. I even got meetings with investors and publishers during India Game Developer Conference. People who seemed genuinely interested in what I was making. So one of the investors or publishers were was uh, seemed to be really interested in supporting the project. I went through the entire process of creating my company, FTFS Studio, and doing everything I could to prepare for this partnership. And then I got ghosted. I mailed, I called, got no response, no explanation, just silence. It was one of the lowest points in my journey, honestly. Uh, here I was pouring everything into this game, setting up a company, putting my heart on the line. Uh, and just like that, it was all hanging by a thread. In January 2024, I decided to start from scratch. I took everything I had learned in the past year, began building the game again from scratch, and this time I rebranded the game to Whispers of the Tarnished City. It felt like a new beginning, a fresh start and renewed vision. It was exciting and for a while I felt like I was back on track. I was, I, I am, I'm the god and yeah it wasn't long before i started to realize how much 
more goes into making a game other than just game design level design art and development when you are a solo dev you are not just making a game you're the music composer you're the tutorial designer you're the level architect you're the environment designer you're the marketer and so much more it was it is overwhelming i spend hours on one task only to realize that there is a whole new list of things for the next day it's a constant balancing act where every decision has weight do i work on mechanics today or focus on building levels do i spend time on learning about music composition or studying how to market an indie game each choice matters each one is entirely on my shoulders and that's when i realized or not exactly but i was told being a solo game developer is a lot like being an entrepreneur it's not just about make about the game it's about creating an entire experience building a brand and constantly adapting to new challenges it wasn't just a dev i was i am not just the developer i am a business owner every risk every sacrifice every small victory is all on me there are days where i feel it's impossible i'm tired or i'm exhausted like i'm pushing a boulder uphill but every time i hit a big breakthrough i create a new mechanic something which i feel proud of it reminds me why i started this journey and the highs are it, the highs are just amazing it reminds me why i started this journey in the first place so game development is hard to anyone out there with a dream just know it's going to be a journey and it is a journey for me right now one that will test you push you and make you question everything but if it's something that you truly care about every struggle becomes a part of the story and honestly i won't trade anything for this i know i am sacrificing a lot i am spending 16 to 18 hours a day just in front of my computer working on creating whispers of the tarnished city but i know that it will pay off someday uh, hard work always pays off that is what i been told by everybody who i talk to my parents my friends my cousins and a lot of you guys in the chat in the comments and for that if you're working on something on your own drop a comment below let's share our stories our setbacks and our wins because no one's alone in this journey let's support each other and yeah see you on the next one